A subquery, also known as an inner query, is a query contained within an outer query. Well, let me create a query from scratch and I'll show you what an inner query is. So let's come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Queries group, and let's do it by design. And the table that I want is the Order Details. Double click, close out, and then let me drag the split bar up. So I've got the grid more in the middle of my screen here. And then from the table, let's add the Order Number, double click, and the Product ID, double click. Now, an inner query is placing coding within the criteria field to be able to query within the main query here. So that's where it's defined as an inner query or subquery. So the code that I want to put in here is to pull in from the products table over here, double click, the product ID whose category equals, well, let's pick one, okay, TT for Tiki Torch. So when it equals TT Tiki Torch, it'll pull in that product ID, which is one. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And to write the code in here, well, it's kind of tiny. I want you to see the entire code. So let's right click on it and zoom in on that. So now it opens up. We got more space to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the code in here. And when you paste code, you got to be careful because it will bring over, or in this case, it brought over the quotes, but the formatting of it. These quotes are, I don't know if you can see it, but they're like italicized. They're not straight. So if I try to go ahead and click okie dokie, hit enter, and then view, uh, enter parameter value, what the heck's that? So let's click cancel, right click on it, and go to zoom, and replace those quotes just by typing over them. So you see how that's straight and that one's curvy still? And let's go ahead and type over that with a new set of quotes, and great, we're good to go. Except, let me go ahead and explain my code first. So in the code it says in, select the product ID from the products table where the category ID equals TT for Tiki Torch. Now you don't have to have the parameters in uppercase I did because so it can stand out and say hey you're selecting something what is it? It's the product ID. From it's like yelling at me where the products table where the category ID equals TT. So let's go ahead and click okie dokie and let's come up here click on the view button and it only pulled in the ID that's associated with Tiki Torch, and that's one, as we saw over here in the products table. Double click, and there you see it's one Tiki Torch. Great! Because if we, you know, right click and go back to the design view, and to delete this, probably the fastest way, instead of clicking in here and trying to drag and select and delete, just come over here to the, the beginning of the row for the criteria until you can see a black arrow pointing over to the right. Click, hit the delete key, and it's gone. So so when I click on the view button, there you go. So the inner query or subquery was working because it only pulled in once, where now it's pulling in everything without that subquery. Let me go back to the design view. Now you could say, well, why are you doing that when you want to pull in from the products table the product ID 1? When you can just go ahead and right click up here and say, let's show the table and add the products table, close out. You got the relationship. And you can go ahead and double click and add the category ID down below and then just type in, you know, TT because that's what you want is Tiki Torch and hit enter and then click on the view button and there you go. You got the product ID, but you also get the category that goes with it. Isn't that better than typing in all that code? Well, let me go ahead and go back to the design view. You've got, well, the next table directly related to it. And so it was easy to pull in that field. But if you've got three or four more tables and you've got to be able to pull those other tables up, or find out the relationships to be able to, you know, double click to add the field down below, it might be easier just to go ahead and write that inner code. And you'll find out that the subquery, that when you're writing codes, when you become familiar with it, you'll notice a pattern and it can work in other areas of access as well. And so you want to keep that in mind. Hey, I'm all for being easy, but I wanted to show you this because, like I said, it may be helpful in other areas of access or working in here where you don't want to pull up those other tables to be able to add that field to get what you're looking for. Okay, let's do one more. I updated the query here. Now it's just the products table. And from that table, I added the product name and the price each down below into the grid. So when I click on the view button, there's the products and there's the price each. How about if I go ahead and write a query where the records whose unit prices are less than or equal to the unit price of maybe the campfire bag? Can we do it? Of course we can. Let's right click, go to the design view, and write that inner query or subquery code for the price each by right clicking in the field and zooming. And let's go ahead and do copy and paste. And there it is. So there's the less than or equal to select the price each from the products table where the product 
the product name as it were, equals campfire bag. So if there's anything less than or equal to the price of that product name, go ahead and pull it up. And make sure that your quotes are straight when you copy and paste and that they're not, well, didn't bring over the formatting from your document. Then go ahead and click okie dokie. Come up here, click on the view button, and hey, there we go. So it's got to be equal to. And so because the campfire bag, of course, is equal to, remember it was less than or equal to, it brings that up and everything that's less than that. Oh, that's fun. That could be a very powerful inner query. So you may want to remember this one. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.